U.S. Navy says it is looking to buy as many as 72 MQ-25 Stingray tanker drones, which it plans to fly off its existing Nimitz and future Ford-class aircraft carriers. But the service will only buy four prototypes of the winning design initially and wants the chosen contractor to then show it can meet the program's demands before handing out any larger production deals. This appears to be an attempt to avoid another buy before you try to buckle, as has happened with the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Earlier in November 2017, U.S. Navy Rear Admiral Mark Dara, the program executive officer for unmanned aviation and strike weapons at the Naval Air Systems Command, never detailed the plans in an interview with Aviation Week. At present, Boeing, General Atomics, and Lockheed Martin are still competing for the initial development contract. The Navy wants the three companies to submit their final proposals in January 2018 and hopes to select a single winner by the end of the summer. In October 2017, Northrop Grumman unexpectedly announced that it was withdrawing from the competition. On top of that, the entire stated point of the MQ-25 program is to take over aerial refueling duties from FA-18EF Super Hornets and their pilots. This in turn would both re-up those fighter jets for combat missions and provide an opportunity to reduce the strenuous demands on the two-manned aircraft. In October 2017, U.S. Navy Vice Admiral Mike Shoemaker, the service's top aviation officer, revealed that only half its Super Hornets were even flyable at any one time and that barely more than 30% were combat ready. The readiness level for the Super Hornet community has been on a declining trend for the last few years, Shoemaker told members of Congress earlier in November 2017. We've been forced to take risks in maintenance and production and, as a result, our ability to fix and produce up aircraft and therefore train aviators has suffered. Right double quotation mark. The Navy also wants the MQ-25 to enhance the Navy's mission tanking capabilities in order to help extend the overall combat range of Hornets and Super Hornets. Initially, the main focus of the Stingray program was on less intensive recovery tanking, which takes place nearer to the carrier itself. Per U.S. Navy documents the author previously obtained via FOIA, the full MQ-25 system will include four drones, a control station linked to the carrier's existing networks, and modifications to the ships to accommodate the Stingrays and their specific equipment. The initial contract appears to cover one single package. A full fleet of 72 aircraft would cover 18 total systems, which would allow the service to assign one to each of its nine carrier air wings, while holding additional packages in reserve in case of a maintenance issue, the need to deploy additional groups during a crisis, and for training and testing purposes. It is entirely possible that the Navy could trim the overall size of the MQ-25 fleet if it decides to reverse its present course and pursue UCAVs for a second time. Budget cuts and other changing priorities are always a factor, as well. Once again, this means that the winning contractor not only has to put up significant resources without the assurance of production deals to offset those costs, but that they have to do so knowing for sure if the Navy will follow through with a full 72 aircraft purchase order. It's worth noting that, so far, only General Atomics has released concept art showing its full proposal, which it derived from its existing Sea Avenger concept. Boeing and Lockheed Martin have only shown more cryptic promotional material focusing almost entirely on the carbon pod. It is possible that one or both firms could decide to follow Northrop Grumman's lead and shift resources to other major military contracts and opportunities. At present, Boeing is still struggling to deliver the first KC 46A tankers to the Air Force and Lockheed Martin remains heavily invested in the F-35 program, which could expand soon to include additional foreign buyers, such as Germany, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates.